Hi, I'm hi. I'm Stacy and I'm a professional mechanic. And I'm gonna show you how to replace the serpentine belt on a 2011 Ford Fiesta SE. Or sometimes you call it the stretch belt, but I like to call it the stretchy belt. But the first thing I'm going to do is remove the wheel on the passenger side. I always like to put my hydraulic floor jack on uh, that big bolt right there because it just seems like there's a lot of strength right there. So I'll jack her up a little bit and then I'll take the, the lugs off. Okay, first hold on and I'll jack her up a little. Lugs, they uh, come off with a 19 millimeter uh, socket. Now, uh, I have it jacked up enough to take some of the pressure off the, the tire. And then I'll get these semi loose. And jack it up the rest of the way and take the lugs completely off. Radio, there it is. And the, the wheel is now off. And I'll have to <clears throat> take... Let's see, where is it? Where is it? This uh, magical cover off. There's two torque bolts. One there, and one there. Once this cover is removed, it'll give you access to the belt. And by the way, my wife, she, uh, she had me change my clothes because she doesn't like me to get all this nasty ass grease on my nice apparel. But uh, I'll let you know the size of the torque fitting. I think it's 30, T30, but just a second. Yes, yes, I was right. It's a T30. It's because I'm a professional. You gotta listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. Okay, well, there's the torque screws, and here's the cover, and I'll just uh, stick it right there. And there's the belt. But I gotta, sn I gotta, I'm just gonna snip it with a, I have some wire cutters that uh, should do the trick. Now the pulley pattern is very simple for the Fiesta. There's only four pulleys. There's the crankshaft, and then right beside it is the AC compressor, and then the belt goes up to the alternator, see it way up there, that's at the top. And then it comes down from the alternator to the water pump. It's the one that's smooth. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to snip this bad belt. It's just nasty. Let's see if this works. I'll do it from the side. It should go quick since I'm a professional. Come on, professional. Professional. Maybe I'll just kind of chew, chew through it. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. 
Boy, that was under pressure, wasn't it? Under pressure. Under pressure. Okay. Here's the new belt I bought through Amazon. And by the way, I did, I'm a Prime member. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it on the pulleys. I'm gonna start from the top of the car and uh, seat it on the alternator and uh, water pump and AC compressor. And then the final pulley will be the crankshaft and I'll put it at 18 millimeter socket on it and rotate it clockwise with and I bought I purchased through Amazon a special tool to help me work it on to that crankshaft pulley let's see how she blows here's the belt uh, have it around the compressor over the top of the alternator way up there and around the water pump now I purchased this cute little tool it has two pieces but this one here it says in install let's see if you can see it yeah, install so with this see how it tapers to work it onto the pulley so that goes on the belt like so. See how it tapers? And here I'll pause it and kind of get it on the pulley for a second. Maybe you can kind of see it there. See, there's the pulley, and there it's like tapered on. But then I gotta make sure that it stays on the smooth water pump. Uh, where is the water pump? All right, I got the new one on. But uh, basically, I had to. I used this tool, and it uh, worked the belt on while I was. Uh, using this eight millimeter wrench on the nut and while I was turning the nut it was pushing it was pushing against the block and the belt but every once in a while I would take this big uh, screwdriver and the smooth pulley to the water pump, uh, this one here, I would work it back in because it would want to walk itself off the pulley as I was turning it, turning the crankshaft. So you kind of like, every once in a while, kind of pry it back in. But anyhow, it's back on. Now I just got to reverse everything, put the cover back on and whatnot. But there you go. Anyhow, I'm glad that you watched my tutorial from the professional. Bye-bye.